Okay guys, I'm loaded up here. I'm standing about 10 yards, 8 to 10 yards from the uh, bottles. We're going to see if we can hit anything here. Okay, I just pulled the trigger. That hammer block safety was engaged. We'll do that on camera here in a, in a minute. Oh. Last one jammed. It's shooting to the, as I recall, this one shoots to the left when you use the sights. I did hit, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the second bottle I was shooting at, I did hit it. There's water running out of it right now. But you can see even on the bottle I hit, it's not uh except an exceptionally powerful cartridge i mean it didn't knock it flying it just knocked it over jammed again there we go Oh, we're empty. That's another thing. When it's empty, it uh, drops. It uh, the, doesn't hold the slide open. Yep, empty again. I'm holding, even at this short range, I'm holding off uh, approximately two inches on the right side of the bottles. Okay. Now that old cylinder out there is at about 20 yards, 15 to 20 yards. Jammed. There we go. Yeah, I'm not hitting that thing at all. Let me kind of move the camera for you a little bit here. I'm going to pan back out just a skosh so you can see this. Okay. You can see how we've got the hammer block safety in the up position. Has to be that way to hit this button. Hit it, and then you remove the magazine. And those shots that I was shooting at that cylinder were falling short. So like I said, this is an extremely close range weapon. Um, you know, you might be able to hit somebody at about seven yards, but that's that's pushing it. It really is meant for real close, close, close in range. Okay. Now, if you look, get it in there. Okay, right now we're in the fire mode. It's not chambered. You notice I'm going to flip that down. Okay, cover up the red. I'm going to drop that down so I can rack the slide. 
Okay, we chambered up. Now watch what happens. See, we don't, with the firing, you don't hit the cartridge. So you bring that up to where you can see the red cock it and then you can shoot it. Oh, I hit the can. Well, I hit it once. What I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and load up and burn up the rest of this ammo. And I'll get you, the, I'll go get that can and we'll see if it penetrated it or if it just uh, bounced off. I have a feeling it probably penetrated it. You're getting the idea of why these aren't the most reliable gun. To, you know, to, for a concealed carry weapon. Well, I hit it again. There we go. Okay, one more time. Have to drop that down. Then you can pull the slide back. Oh, I'm hitting it. Sometimes. Let's try left hand. I think this is the last round right here. Yep, that's it. I'll walk down and get those bottles and that can and you'll be able to see the, uh, the difference. I'll be right back. Okay. Here we have the old canister. You can see two fresh holes right here. Those are fresh. This is an old hole. You can see where I hit it up here, where it just dented the can. And if you listen, you can hear rattling around in there. But I think, yeah, pieces, they'll show up. Yep, that's pieces of one of the bullets that uh, went through it. And then the water bottles show you really very little damage. Again, this is not a good self-defense arm in my opinion. You've got just tiny little holes in and out on that one. That one, same thing. That's an exit hole there. That one, the entrance hole is halfway up the bottle. Let me get it in the frame there. I didn't pick them all up, I just picked some of them up. And there's uh, another one with just an entrance, it looks like. Although, there's got to be another one. Oh, <laughs> somehow or another I got, I got them on the same side of the bottle. I must have hit, this must be the one I hit uh, twice and I just skimmed it both times. So, at any rate, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. Again, you know, I'm not trying to knock on the Phoenix Arms. I'm just trying to show you what we have with the one on hand. Um, for a plinker, for one to play with, for no more expensive than they are, it's probably not a bad gun. But to rely on it for self-defense, uh, too light for me. So thanks for watching, and uh, check out, be sure to check us out at MyGunValues.com. Have a good day.